space, vast and indomitable, remains a source of endless fascination. Among its myriad wonders, black holes stand out as one of the most spectacular and unbelievable phenomena in the universe. Essentially, a black hole can be defined as a point in space where matter has condensed to such an extreme density that its surface gravity is insurmountable, trapping everything, even light. It is the fabric of space-time warped at its limits. What makes it impossible to escape from a black hole? Besides the fact that your body will be ripped apart by the tidal forces of the black hole in a process called spaghettification until you become just a line of atoms, well, it is time. Inside a black hole, time is predicted to act in a very peculiar way. Time is so extremely warped there that it flows in a direction you would have thought was spatial. It flows downward toward the singularity. That downward flow, in fact, is why nothing can escape a black hole. As everything inevitably moves toward the future, if the arrow of time leads to the singularity, that is where you belong. From an external perspective, the center of a black hole may be perceived as a point in space, but in reality, it is a point in time. The fascinating interplay between space, time and gravity within a black hole challenge our understanding of the cosmos. Perhaps we started a little bit too fast. It is easy to get excited with the wonders of the universe. So, how is a black hole formed? Well, a regular black hole is the result of the culmination of the life of a massive star. A star with five, ten, perhaps a hundred times the mass of the sun starts running out of nuclear fuel. This star is so heavy that it warps space-time massively. The gravity is so strong that the star cannot stop its collapse and in less than a fraction of a second, it becomes a black hole. The star is massively compressed into a single point of space, a point of infinite density known as the singularity. But what happens with all that matter? Where does it go? Nobody knows. In a weird way, the black hole isn't a crush of matter anymore. It left it behind in its wake, but the star is gone. Black holes are a mystery. The singularity is cosmically hidden by the horizon of events. In fact, there are only three quantities that define a black hole. Its electric charge, its mass, and its spin. We refer to a Schwarzschild black hole as a black hole with mass, but with no electric charge and no spin, a simplest kind of black hole. A Kerr-Newman black hole, on the other hand, is a rotating charged black hole. Any other information is occluded by the event horizon. So, that's a regular black hole, a few times the mass of the Sun. Now, let's delve into supermassive black hole. These galactic giants lurk at the hearts of most, if not all, galaxies, including our own Milky Way, packing millions to billions of times the Sun's mass. This majestic phenomena in space must have been formed in a different way than regular black holes. Massive stars can't have billions of times the mass of the Sun, so a black hole of this magnitude must have been the result of a different scenario. We could speculate that it is the merge of multiple massive stars, but if you do the math, to get a supermassive black hole of millions or billions the mass of the Sun, black hole experts claim that 13.8 billion years the age of the universe are not enough years to form one of that magnitude. It should have been an event occurring in the early stages of the universe's life. Perhaps this colossal black hole may have formed from the direct collapse of giant gas clouds in the early universe. But they are still a mystery, even bigger than regular black holes. So now we have learned about the formation of black holes and how they warp the fabric of space-time. But what causes this warping? Well, in the words of the American theoretical physicist Kip Thorne, it is not the singularity that warps the time-space around a black hole. In fact, 
the whole space is warped by the enormous energy of its warping. If this seems a bit circular to you, well, it is, but it has deep meaning. Just as it requires a lot of energy to bend a stiff bow in preparation for shooting an arrow, so it requires a lot of energy to bend space, to warp it. And just as the bending energy is stored in the bent bow, so the warping energy is stored in the black hole's warped space. It seems like the more you know about black holes, the less you understand the fabric of the universe, and more questions arise about how and why the universe is structured so perfectly. Perhaps this is why humans have thought of a creator, as it seems that only a being so complex and incomprehensibly powerful and intelligent could fabricate something like this. However, today is not a day for discussing religions or beliefs. It is a day to behold and observe the majesty of the universe. If you enjoyed the video, please consider sharing it or giving it a thumbs up. Creating these videos involves a lot of effort and your support means a lot. If you're interested in delving into more discussions about philosophy, science, math, or whatever crosses my mind, be sure to follow the channel. I hope I'll see you next video. Goodbye.